Hey, I'm Christina. Watch Marvel make me a hero. I'm a writer and a journalist and an editor. Started out as a science writer at NASA. Working in the Earth Science Department, I learned so much about how to measure climate and weather to understand climate patterns. And it was really important because <laughs> climate change is real. Large part of my job was talking to scientists and engineers about how spin-off technology worked, taking that, digesting it, and making it digestible for the public. In the same way, I have to do that with politics, typically writing about social issues and politics, and I've covered the last two elections. My first memory of the Marvel Universe is coming home after school, sitting in front of the TV and watching X-Men the Animated Series. One character that really stood out to me was Storm. I wasn't just drawn to her because she looked like me. Representation is obviously important, but I do think it's a, it's a beautiful and poetic coincidence that Storm controls this weather and that I literally worked on a satellite that measured rainfall. And so I'm like, hey girl, hey, like we're sisters in science a little bit, you know? When I was thinking about the perfect superhero, she embraces her curves in a way, and she's very muscular, she's very strong, and she isn't afraid to shy away from that. She harnesses that power from the sun and store that power in her melanin and also in her braids, which she can whip around for a weapon. It's her only real weapon outside of the light that she can expel from her hands. She's an African-American woman. And it was really important for me that she also had a name that represented the power of the sun and also womanhood. So her name is Soul Morrison in my, in my mind. Soul being the sun and Morrison being a nod to my favorite author, Toni Morrison, who often writes about sisterhood. When she's fighting crime, she has this like high neck white suit with a zipper and then red because red is such a power color. She has a cape, a delicate gold, halo around her. So she wears gold bangles on each arm. She has a citrine ring on one hand. She has a huge amethyst rock on the other hand because she also understands the healing powers of stones and gems. And she has box braids. So my superhero is actually a journalist during the day because that's what I do. And she uses her position as a journalist to really gain insight into how corporations and businesses are destroying the earth. Oh, oh my God, look at her cape. This is exactly how I pictured it. You can really see how it's just flowy and kind of sheer. And this like subtle touch of red, which I talked about, which he really captured <laughs> phenomenally. This is crazy. You can see the healing stones on her yellow gloves. She has this nose ring and the hoops. And this nice added touch of the zipper decal here in her high neck suit. Her hair is absolutely fantastic. And she is a brown woman. That is so important for me, for little black and brown girls everywhere, to see someone who looks like them, to see that she has braids. This situation, that's what we need. Thanks, Marvel, for making me a hero.